Melissa here. I am just making this video because I thought I should let everyone know what's been happening with my hair. I don't think a lot of people, I don't know if you guys care about this, but I wanted to document my hair journey because after breaking the fast that I did, I started eating food that I have gained a little bit of weight. I'm gonna make a video about that and my post fast journey. I'm still struggling with that right now. But another thing that I struggled with was a lot of my hair was falling out and I'm not sure if that's from the fast or just the fast kind of allowed my body to let go of things that I didn't need anymore. So it felt like a lot of my hair was falling out and I was getting a little worried about it because it was looking really stringy. It's still kind of like thinner than it's ever been in my life before. Um, but it was also really interesting because when I was doing the fast, my hair was growing really well and it was like getting thicker. And then I stopped the fast. So I'm not sure if it's just because I started eating things or whatnot and I may never know. But anyway, I just thought I would document my hair journey because I've actually been doing like a lot of research and I found um, other people who have struggled with their hair and also with curly hair because for a long time, I personally hated my hair. I didn't like my hair at all. I always wish I had straight hair and long, straight flowing hair and I would straighten it. There was a time in college where I was straightening it almost every day with a straightener and a blow dryer and kind of ruined my hair actually. My, that's when I started noticing my hair was getting thinner and then as the years progress, it's become even more thin and I was getting a little nervous about it, so I decided to see, like, really settle down and figure out what it is. Because actually, when Andrew and I were in Costa Rica about three years ago, I was struggling with it as well. And we were looking at coconut oil, how that helps, and we were doing that, and it felt a lot better. But I kind of let that fall to the wayside, and I stopped doing any of hair care, basically. Um, besides that I don't really wash it every single day and I know that's one of the things if you have curly hair they recommend not washing it every day because you want the you know people who have curly hair actually struggle with having dry hair as opposed to people who have straight hair they usually struggle with oily hair um, anyway that's like a whole different story but I just wanted to make this video so that I can kind of show you and gauge where my hair is so that I can also know. Um, but anyway, I was losing a lot of hair here. I don't know if you can see, but now that I've been doing this oil stuff, like all these little hairs, like I have like this halo over here of all these hairs growing, which is great. It's awesome. I'm so happy about that. Um, and I think in a future video, I'll show you what oils I'm using. It's pretty much a lot of the oils that, um, I believe her name is Spisha. I think that's how you pronounce it, but she has amazing, long, luscious, curly hair. And so I was looking to see what kind of oils people use in their hair, because I've done castor oil before, I've done uh, coconut oil, I've done a lot of different oils, I've done olive oil in my hair, I was doing a lot of those things, but then I saw her video and she also recommended pimiento oil, and I also found this oil mix that's supposed to help with hair growth, and it has a whole bunch of different oils in it and there's like horsetail and all the stuff that's supposed to help grow your hair. So I've been using that and using um, some conditioners and leave-in creams and I also have been starting to use argan oil and tea tree oil because that's one of the things she recommend. So recommended in her video. So I'm gonna actually show you what products I have been using in my hair and how I feel like they're working. But it's also very difficult for me because a lot of the products people do recommend they have like other things in it that I don't really want to use in my hair. I try my best to use the most natural ingredients. So that's why I use a lot of oils in my hair now because like there's a certain um, shampoos or conditioners that people recommend and I just don't feel comfortable using them because I actually read the Curly Hair Method book. I'll put the link in the description below where you can find it on Amazon if you're interested in it. You can take a look. Um, anyway. So I read her book and she says not to use like parabens and um, um, alcohol and all this other unnatural things, which I had been doing already. Like I don't really, I didn't really wash my hair with anything crazy before because I had learned about that in the past. Um, so anyway, I have found some products that I'm feeling very comfortable using, which took a while because there are so many products in there where you look at the, uh, like the ingredient list and it's like, Cetyl, um, cetyl alcohol or 
is that how you pronounce it? Anyway, there's some sort of alcohol in it or some sort of unnatural thing, which I personally don't like using in my body. I don't like using things that are unnatural. So anyway, I will make a video of all the things that I'm using on my hair. And if you're interested, like anything that I'm using on my body, pretty straightforward. I use like the most simple things. So I'm documenting my journey. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Uh, any feedback is great. Um, and also if you want to hear updates about my hair journey and what I'm using, uh, please subscribe to our channel below and leave any comments or questions. I, I would love to hear from you. Andrew also looks at the channel and he also loves to hear from you. So any comment, any critiques, that would be great. And we will do our best to respond to you. So anyway, I guess until next time where I'll show you all the products that I'm using in my hair. Uh, have a wonderful, wonderful day.